we're 125 years old and we get to, to celebrate our anniversary by re, reclaiming this identity that has emerged out of the, the community's uh, experience together. We are one institution with a lot of faces. People from all different ranges of backgrounds, all different ethnicities, all different gender and sexual orientations, um, all, all different kind of walks of life and, and talk about how those differences make us really strong. I live as where they say there are two or three people, then we know that we get 20 different opinions of what could and should be. These core values are acted out on an everyday basis. I guess the one thing I would say is that with any of these kinds of core values, they're always ones that we need to keep striving to reach. But I love that right in our core values, we acknowledge that it's not perfect all the time. <laughs> We arrived at the core values through an inclusive process that ILIF engaged for a year. And we had 405 respondents to the critical questions that would help us discern a strategic plan. About the fourth or fifth stage of that process was to take this raw data and, and, and have uh, a couple of groups work at it in different ways. But this one group was assigned the job of identifying the core values that they read from the responses of all of the people who contributed to the data. And so we had two students, two faculty members, two trustees, two staff persons, and two alumni comprised one of those groups. And they read through this data and they discerned what they were reading from the community about what, the, what is valued and what ILIF thinks collectively about itself. And we still had a community covenant that we had been speaking together in opening convocation every fall for 10 years. It had been created in 2005-2006 as part of um, a process following a difficult conflict in ILIF's history. And the question arose in fall of 2016, uh, what's the relationship between these two documents? And so the leadership team asked a staff member and students and faculty to work together to sort out what should the relationship be between these core values articulated in the strategic planning process and this historic community covenant. And they went through that very carefully and it, when they started they had 12 core values from the strategic planning and, um, and a much, much longer covenant. And what they did was to realize that the two really synchronized with each other substantially and overlapped. And by grouping the 12 core values, that's what they were called then, um, into four, that we would honor both the community covenant's main concerns and um, provide a structure for the core values that would make them even more usable. And that's how we ended up with the four core values that we talk about now. ILF's core values, our core values, academic engagement. We are a learning community that engages the whole person through mind, body, and spirit. We value scholarship and the integration of theory and experience. We value our progressive theological heritage and how it finds expression in emerging forms of pedagogy and practice. We are an incubator for innovation. We value our progressive theological heritage and how it finds expression in emerging forms of pedagogy and practice. And I have really seen this a lot at ILIF in the ways that um, we talk about different subjects through um, a different way of teaching and through a different lens. Now you look at the word progressive, it implies moving forward, doing something new. Lots of people say they're doing this. Uh, you take a close look and what people tend to do is they take old ideas and they just repackage them. But I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, at the end they, they had the idea that we don't need to define progressive Christianity by this small group of people. 
it's supposed to be an open-ended project. We should be talking about where does it go in the future, not let's keep saying the same things that people have been saying for two decades. Intersectional accountability. We value the differences in our community. We align ourselves with social justice, equality, and wholeness. We strive to take care of each other as we journey together. Intersectional accountability. We value the differences in our community. Well, where I see that at play here at ILIF is really everywhere at ILIF, not just with the faculty and staff, um, students, our colleagues, in our classrooms. Um, we are all from different backgrounds, different cultures. We all have different thought processes, perspectives about different things in the world and we're able to come together and be very open where we're actually learning about not just ourselves but we're learning about other people as well. Intersectional accountability, we align ourselves with social justice, equality and wholeness. That we value being dynamic, um, whether that means we listen to each other, what we need at any particular moment in time. You know, some people need a softer dynamic and some people need a fortissimo. And sometimes world events require us to be loud. And sometimes um, attitudes and feelings and hearts on campus require us to be soft. And I love that we value that at ILIF. Relational respect. We promote honesty and transparency and maintain healthy relationships when in tension. We strive to involve all affected constituents in decision-making processes. And then what do we do when we are not in agreement? We can say, I don't agree, I am upset, but if we know that being upset is fine, that we can disagree and not be disagreeable, or what are, are the values of our own, I would say, humanity? So one of the most challenging things, I think, for me to think about this past year has been to think about tension and when it's very valuable um, in our lives and in our work and to think about when conflict is really good and we should really value it and hold it. And so I think that ILIF actually does a really good job of bringing tension to the forefront and saying, let's talk about this, let's make something better out of this, instead of trying to say we shouldn't have tension. And maintaining the tension is incredibly important for our role, especially in terms of marketing or asking for money, because a lot of people see ILIF very differently. We are one institution with a lot of faces and a lot of people represented. And so you might have a, an alignment with one portion of that, but maybe not another. So being able to market and communicate to all of our donors who have different value sets of the institution is the place where we have to hold that tension to be true to who the institution is and the people represented within the institution as well as being true to the donors who are helping us grow. Dynamic spirituality. We value the creative and inspirational nature of our work, spiritual, intellectual, and vocational. We celebrate theological discernment and spiritual depth. Our core values arise out of our United Methodist heritage. And of course, I think that many people, we know that in a place called ILIF, yes, the academic rigor is required, but we do also know that there is the spirit that even moves the academic rigor. I've said this before, but I think often religiosity and spirituality even tries to fit us into boxes and we're so different as human beings and um, you know it's important that we're tuned into each other. It's always important to pay attention to one's core values and to remind our community of what those core values are, build it into the orientation of, for our new students because it is our identity and we have done, done this work collectively so 
new members of our community get to be invited into that conversation and, and get to make those um, them, their own. But also, you know, we're 125 years old and we get to, to celebrate our anniversary by re, reclaiming this identity that has emerged out of the, the community's uh, experience together.